Hi there everyone, welcome. I'm Charlotte Ember, I am a transformational healer, teacher, a musician, a teacher of meditation. I also do sound healings and I wanted to get on here and first of all, welcome you to my page. And secondly, talk a little bit about this amazing energy that has begun and it is actually going to fully begin on Monday. Um, we are really, I don't talk about numerology or astrology a whole lot. I do like to pay attention to it because a lot of times it will kind of complete the picture for me. Um, but it's not something that is, uh, I feel dependent on, which I think is really, really important. Because truthfully, our vibration and who we are really goes way beyond even what the stars are saying or what anything is saying. We really can choose what we want and um, what kind of vibration and energy that we want to be putting out there at all times and that really is the key. But it doesn't help to have some good positive motion going on in um, the cosmos that definitely helps and I can definitely feel it whenever there is a few negative things happening but starting Monday actually starting this year is a year number one which is very significant we are in at the end end of the nine-year cycle in December and we have started a one year which is always great for forward motion for new beginnings for creating what you're wanting to create and really seeing your dreams come into fruition. So it's a really positive time to, to definitely be setting your intention and stepping into what you really are wanting to create. And then on top of that, starting on Monday, Mercury goes direct. It's been in retrograde here for about a month. and. When that happens, it's kind of like it, it appears to be moving backwards, and so it can affect us by feeling like we are not going forward, like we we're feeling a little stuck. It's a good time to really um, reevaluate things, reset things, um, and take it easy, not try to do too much during that time. But on Monday, it goes direct, and not only is it going direct, all the other planets are going direct, which is a very rare occurrence. That hasn't happened since the year 2011. And uh, so every single planet will be going direct together, which is awesome because that means there's really not a whole lot of pulling energy on us to, to pause or sit back. There's a whole lot of forward motion happening. So I am not an astrologist or a numerologist. I just enjoy paying attention to it and seeing what's happen, happening. Really, honestly, what I am at my core um, is a transformational teacher. What I love to teach is unconditional love and who we are and what we come from and that we come from an unconditionally loving source. And so as I'm moving into this new year and I'm kind of looking at what I'm wanting to bring and what I'm wanting to create, a lot of times we can get kind of wrapped up in this feeling like I need to get on the ball, I need to set all my goals, I need to figure this whole thing out, and it can actually end up being kind of a stressful energy that we find ourselves in. Or we set all these resolutions and all these goals and then we get into it and it feels really good, and then after doing that for a little bit, then we start to realize, well, maybe maybe this isn't gonna happen and I'm getting tired of this and I'm gonna need to drop that. So what causes us to do this? And I really wanted to talk about like how we can get into the energy that we're really wanting and really stay with that. And I really believe the key to that is to not base what we're feeling on any circumstance and really get tapped in to really the truth of our soul, which is underneath all of the circumstances in our life. It's like the, um, it's the jewel and the beauty underneath all the pain, underneath all the stress, underneath all of that. We really are not what we think about. And that can be a very um, 
hard thought to, to wrap your brain around, but it really is true. We, if you sit still and you start really paying attention to what you are thinking, you realize that there's really this dialogue going on and you are not that dialogue. You are the essence behind that dialogue. You are in the silence. You are in that secret place within your soul. And that is where all of our creative power comes from. So if we can just take a few moments to let go of what we think needs to happen, what we get our minds all wrapped up in, and sink deep into the truth of our soul, which is unconditional love, which is what we come from, which is our source, which really transcends any belief system, any race, any religion, any philosophy. It just is. It just is. And it is peace. It is joy, it is bliss, it is love. It's really all the things that we seek to know. And it's not always easy, I totally get it. I work with people um, in helping people get down to that root. And even whenever you do learn to live out of that root place, out of that core place of unconditional love, even when you learn that, you know, you don't, you don't stay there all the time. There's still things in this life that are gonna trigger us, that are gonna pull us out. But what happens is the more you practice it, the more you're able to stay there. The more that when something happens that doesn't feel good on the outside, when that happens, you don't start believing that that is you. You don't start feeling like you need to fix that situation. The real answer that needs to happen is to go inward, to check in, and to align with love. So what would love be doing in this moment? What would love be choosing in this moment? And when you do that, you actually send out a vibration that is more powerful than that situation of fear or anger or jealousy or rage or discontent or feeling like you're not good enough, whatever it might be your vibration of love that lives in you, it's just been forgotten, is greater than all of that. So if you can line up with that truth in your soul, then that is what you will start to project into the world. Instead of lining up with the fear, lining up with the stuff that we see, and then projecting that same thing over and over and over and over again. Really it's just learning a new set of habits. And as you do that, you start to see your true self and you start to resonate with that more. So for this new year, I really encourage you to let your intention be to manifest your true self. Instead of trying to put your focus on more material things or more exercise or losing weight or all of those things which are great, none of that's gonna happen unless, or it can, maybe with a whole bunch of hard, hard work, but none of it's gonna happen with ease and grace and bliss unless you get in touch with your deep core self. So manifest you. Manifest your truth, your true self, which is love. Line everything up with that. So don't settle for thoughts anymore that don't line up with the truth of your soul. Let them go. It's not worth your time. It's not worth the effort. It's not worth spending one iota on those things. It will only bring you more misery. And I'm not saying all this to say, you know, that, that you're never gonna have any struggles. We do, but we learn how to handle those struggles by continuously bringing ourselves back to the truth of our soul and it gets easier and easier. And so that we stop creating more of that by default or on automatic. We can actually learn how to start creating the things that we really want. Because when we get in tune with our truth and our soul, we even what we want starts to change. And the things that we desire, the things that we hope for, the things that we seek after those start to shift and start to change for us because getting in tune with unconditional love will change it all for you. And it's who you are. 
So thank you all for joining me. I'm Charlotte Ember. I do have a link below if you would like to have a personal reading. I am a musician and I do um, personal musical intuitive readings. It's kind of a unique experience. Um, it's hard to even kind of explain it. I try to put it in the best words possible. If you want to go to my page, um, that is the link right below this, it will actually explain a little bit about more of what it is. But what I do is just channel that unconditional love through music. I listen to what I feel spirit is saying. I listen to what I feel is happening with your energy and I try to bridge that gap and help you become more clear and um, be able to start lining up with the truth of your soul, which is so important for this year. And there's so much magic right here waiting to be tapped into. So don't let this year be a year by default. Let it be a year of intention by lining up with the truth of your soul. I love you all. And uh, please ask me any questions in the comments if you'd like. And um, I'm here for you. So I will talk to you all very, very soon. Much love.